took the uh, first book, The Blood Queen, back to the library today. This one's called The uh, Reluctant Queen. This is book two. And uh, see, I just got it today. <laughs> and I've been sitting here reading, and I don't have my glasses on, so I cannot even begin to see the page number. But, uh, ah, it's good, but I'm very, very sad. Uh, I don't want to give out spoilers, but the main character isn't doing well. And it looks like they're bringing another main character in. And even though I like the new lady that they're bringing in, you know, <laughs> the whole first book was about Delena. And Delena's having some problems and I don't want to give too much away. So now they're bringing in another main character. Uh, I believe her name's Nailene. And it's just sad, but it's a good book. So I am continuing with it. And I also signed out the third book. So I may spend some late nights later than I should staying up reading this. But these are really good. They're by Sarah Beth Durst. And I have to say that um, she has... A really good imagination. Man, I remember having an imagination like that when I was younger. I used to love to write. Ugh. I wrote so much. I wrote fantasy. Yeah. My mind, this is how my mind used to work when I was younger. My voice wasn't so rough. I had a much nicer voice and my throat wasn't so crackly. And I obviously didn't have wrinkles. <laughs> of course, I was young. But, uh, yeah, the mind has changed, too, because this, these books, this is how my mind worked every day, all the time. I used to write and write. Oh. Uh, if life had been different, I could have wrote these or like this. Not that I'd want to take anything from Sarah Beth Durst, of course, because she's an awesome writer. But I could have wrote a lot like this. Uh, anyways, I did actually. I did. For a while. Anyways, it's it's a good book. It's not like it's a... I don't know if you know what I mean, but very deep. There's some books that are so in-depth that you have to like stay right with them. You have to really think about them and be involved in them and you can't read two books at once usually because I usually have at least two on the go and but it's not like an in-depth story but I think the thoughts and the feelings behind it all the things that are going on make it very in-depth in depth if that depth if that makes sense anyways it's a good story I'm enjoying it Oh, they live in the trees. I think I said that before. Um, they live in the trees. There's all the spirits. I talked about that before. Uh, earth spirits, air spirits, water spirits, fire spirits. I've been laying here for hours reading, so. Um, they have to have a queen to control all the spirits. Without the spirits, the trees wouldn't grow. The fruit wouldn't grow. The crops wouldn't grow. They have the power that they do everything that's needed um and then the, but they they hate the humans and they want to kill all the humans so then the queen has to be strong enough to control all the spirits which is a lot of work i mean it's a lot of work because these spirits they constantly want to kill the humans so they have to be really, really strong. And they have academies. And any kids that show uh, power as they're growing up so get sent to the academies. <clears throat> if, sorry, if they show that they have 
uh, a talent for controlling one spirit, like say a child shows that they're very good at controlling just earth spirits, but they don't seem to be able to really work with the other spirits. And the spirits are creatures though, not dead, you know, deceased people. Um, and then they usually become a hedge witch for the village. And there's a lot of villages. And uh, there's villages all through the forest. And then where the queen resides, that's like the city. Um, so the kids are then sent to the academy. Now, I don't want to give you too, give too much away. But with Queen Delina, or yeah, being in trouble right now, they have to find more candidates to be an heir to her. And which they have to have anyways in case something happens to her, which could happen, right? And because the spirits could always get out of control and somehow kill her. And, um, but all the kids in the academy right now are very young and very untrained. And the champions who train them are having a very difficult time trying to find the next candidates. Because they're so young and untrained and all the candidates, all the yeah, candidates or kids that are in the academy's training right now that they're just not finding someone who they feel is good enough, strong enough, trained enough to take on. So, but uh, it's good. Okay. Great. Right here, she says, you know, were they worried about, <clears throat> Scar, sorry, were they worried about her, it's hard to read through the phone, did they think she'd quit, should she, what was she doing, or what she was doing wasn't an act of loyal heir, anyways, this is one of the things I didn't like in this book, is she, I, understand and realize why I just and she's always like should she should I be here should am I I don't know she does this a lot should she and it, it, like it, again I understand why but the constant constant questioning herself just I don't know it just kind of bugs me as soon as I read that I, I thought oh here she goes again she's doing it again should I be here should I be doing this? What am I doing? Why am I doing this? You know, it just, I don't know. Like I say, she's young and she's a student and she hasn't even had full training yet and everything, so I understand why, but still. Ooh, I like this one. What do you think? Is it good look for me? <laughs> oh, I like the eyes on this. Isn't that cool? It follows your face every place. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> I think that's kind of cool, man. It keeps, almost keeps right up with it. Hmm. Oh, these things are fun. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween! <laughs> cool, eh? Happy Halloween! I know, it's not Halloween yet, but you know what? These things are fun enough to be Halloween. Wow! Aha! Uh -huh. Look at that! I could use these and make my videos for my books for YouTube. Hmm, cool, eh? <laughs> Except for if I put the book there, then it, I lose it. It says I'm supposed to nod my head. I'm reading The Reluctant Queen. Halloween videos, but I'm not reading any Halloween books. I don't want to read scary books. I want to read fantasy or historical romance books. Isn't it? just amazing what they can do now. 
I mean, really, I'm looking at a camera and all this is happening. If I open my mouth, look at that. I'm telling, I'm telling you, you. It's, it's, it's really kind of cool. cool. Imagine, imagine if we had this stuff when we were kids. kids. Yeah, imagine we had fun. I really like this one, but unfortunately the, the veil doesn't really fit the head very well. It doesn't seem... I don't really like the blood bleeding from the eyes. I think the eyes are really, really cool. Huh? Isn't that cool? Those eyes are cool. But I don't. I know. It's a Halloween thing. So I feel like this one for Halloween. I can't find any other Halloween ones. I only find the two. Or I think three. I can't find the ones that you use, Brandis.